if you remember I talked about the railroad and the water leak that was underneath the railroad and the railroad was going to uh, come and put in another sleeve underneath well they did that and so this video I didn't get a lot of video of it um, I don't think they were real comfortable with me videoing them so I just got a few uh, short clips of it but and then the end result after we haven't sent a, a line through it yet but the sleeve is there so all we have to do is send a slip another line through it and then we'll get up to our existing line on each side so i'll want to post uh, that and there will be some other stuff on also from there underneath across the top top of it but where it came through there's the sleeve that we'll be able to put our pipe through there's the machine so now we'll start pulling that sleeve that pipe through there it is pulling it out pretty cool This is where the pipe is now. So that's the that marks where the uh, end of this sleeve is. So it came through there, on over, and right to here. So when we get ready to put uh, a pipe underneath and just push it through the sleeve we'll just dig right here where this pipe is and feed it through you go to the other side and the other side so we're gonna walk across and look where it exited over here so they bored it underneath the tracks there. And then it came out right over here. So that's where it came out. So that's where we'll hook on. And then we'll just go that that pipeline is is actually just it comes down kind of like this so we can probably hook into it right there so we're we're looking about 40 feet probably we'll have it hooked in so that leak into the railroad is almost fixed, almost fixed. well here's our akushi wagyu bull that's good Red Angus that he's with. Two more cows over there. Here's that salty colt.
Three occult there is available. He is by Night Owl Valentine out of Classy. out here at three corners this is where we where I put this back together seeing how much water it's a solar unit this ladder We're going to have some new cattle coming in in a few days. Uh, we bought some Wagyu cattle, and so we're going to put them out in three corners. So I'm going to go down the fence line and just check the perimeter fences. That way, if I need to fix something, I can get it done before those cattle actually get here. And um, that way, hopefully, they don't wander off. This is the fence I'm going to check. This is our furthest south boundary fence. So I'm gonna go down this fence all the way um, to the end over there, probably about a mile, so maybe a little over a mile. And then I'm gonna head north and go up and check our fence going up north. And then I'll end up over there coming back down another road. You see a drilling rig over there, we go over that area. So I'll start checking this fence here. Looking back to the east, and there on the right side is this our south fence. I'm just checking it. We got some new cows coming in. There's a RKR Rojo's Classy Roan. He's in this pasture. And there's Dennis over there. Dennis is in this pasture also. And I'll go up that west fence, head north, and go all the way along the top of that ridge over there. Just checking the fence, making sure it's in good shape. So these cows that are coming in don't wander off. I'm heading north now, so I'm going uh, down the west up the west fence, I guess, heading north. We'll head over to that ridge and then go down the fence over there. Now I'm at the farthest north point, so this is the uh, north fence, which the other side is our pasture, also. That's part of three corners. So I'm going to just check because that's in the, on a different side. That's three corners. Uh, north and, and I'm in three corners south so that's the west fence our neighbors that's actually the old um, 
I guess, part of the ranch. The so most all that you can see down there was part of the ranch at one time, uh, Spurlock Ranch. So the brothers, Pat, my father-in-law, and Ted, they uh, they were brothers, and so they split the ranch after a while. And so Ted, he took the south part, which is what we're looking down at, and Pat took the north part, and that's where we are now. It's on the north part of that ranch. The south ranch has actually been sold since, and so it's no longer in our position or the family. Now I'm looking south again. So this is the pasture they'll be in. Looking back over to the east. So I'm going to continue to go up this fence here and just make sure it's all good and then it'll go back down. I'll start heading back east here in a little bit and go back down to the, uh, the corral. You can tell there's not much road down this fence line. Kind of overgrown. You can see that drilling rig down there. We're looking east. And you can't can't really see it, but see if I can kind of point out the corral. Corral's way down there. So this is where those new cows will come. Right to here. That's looking back west. So I was up there along the ridge. See the top of the drilling rig there. I was up on the ridge there and then headed east and so I've come down this fence and we'll head down and you can see the corral down there now where the tank is. You can see the fence line, the corral. So I'll continue on. Jerry, what do you call a happy cowboy? Well, if you're talking about me, a jolly rancher. <laughs> <laughs>